building sites and money. Building houses, what are, no, what should I say? I'm really struggling with this video. We thought that video was gonna suck. I've run out of enthusiasm for being super optimistic on camera today. Well, that wasn't planned. So here's a note I made back last year in September called the roller coaster of a video. Idea, procrastinate, film, talk, freak out, doubt, edit, doubt, edit, struggle to see something good, edit, review, freak out. I start to wonder, will anyone watch this? What's the point? Will it be good? I suck at talking. I'm not excited. I'm Josh, a builder here in New Zealand, and this video is all about staying motivated when you hit the brick wall. Boom, boom. So we picked up the cube, today's most important prop in between uh, running a building company and sussing out a thousand phone calls and keeping the ship afloat, we have got a Rubik's Cube. Uh, one piece has been twisted, looks like Jacob's been having some fun, played a trick on us. We're gonna solve it and fix it. Even more adding to the metaphor of when you hit the wall, when someone stitches you up with a cube that's unsolvable. That's a lot like life. Sometimes you need an outside force to twist a block in another direction. <laughs> Whether it's filming videos, solving a Rubik's Cube, being a builder, life in general, there's always gonna be problems, but it's how we face them that is important. We work with the plasterer. Is it going good? No. I kind of feel like, it, like I'm, it I'm trying to work out how to make it work in my mind. We've arrived on site with our Rubik's Cube. So like any good problem, you just need to pick a starting point. We're gonna start with the white layer. As with most problems, this is not the only way, but this is the way that I've learned that works for me. So now we have a white layer, but more importantly, the white layer has a T on it that lines up. One thing I've learned about the cube is that this, the centers never move position. And so if you can grasp your head around that, like what's the constant part of the problem or what's the things that don't change? Well, like we've just done a layer of this cube, you're breaking the problem down into layers and even just corners or pieces. Can I just start with that one piece there? Can I find the blue white piece and put that in its place? The cube is just like any other problem that needs to be broken down and solved piece by piece. Remember, it's not often that you will solve the problem on your very first try. That's why I love the quote, strive for progress, not perfection. If you've hit the wall, just like I did that day on site, I'm really struggling with this video. Take five minutes, stand back, reevaluate the problem, remind yourself why you're doing this, what's the end goal, where are you trying to get to? Bringing it back to the cube, if you're stuck doing something a certain way, try and attack it from a different approach, try a different set of moves, try a different algorithm. Uh, right now here, I'm gonna have to do a voiceover because the microphone wasn't working properly. So I'm solving the middle layer of the cube, this part here. We're looking for these middle pieces. And then there's this little move that we can do to put that piece, move it from being on the bottom into the spot we want. Basically, that's the move I'm doing right now. So then we're doing the move again on another piece, green, orange. So now I've solved two layers. I've solved the top layer and the sides. So now all we need to do is solve the very bottom layer. We've gone from the whole cube being unsolved to now only needing to solve the bottom layer. But we need to actually do some building work. So we'll put the cube down for a little bit and we'll check on the frames, talk to the guys. Remember, there's always more than one way to solve the same problem. As much as I hate to admit it, as I have got older, I've learned the importance of good sleep, good eating. I've started aiming to drink two liters of water every day. And I've noticed the days where I'm not eating well or drinking enough water, I do feel run down. I do hit the wall much faster. Boom, boom. So I'm just thinking about the intro. So I said, let's go inside and now we're out the back. Um, what do you think about that? It doesn't just I don't. Can cut out in the editing, but 
Okay. okay, I don't know. I wonder if we just do the pricing video at the office. What do you think? Well, I think it doesn't matter on the location and it's good to be in front of a build to like point to it. Yeah, okay, cool. Good handle on giving... Uh, process yeah. takes uh, this process, the pricing process. And at the... So at, at, uh, flipping heck. I'm Josh. Uh, yeah, I've already said that. Uh, thank you for watching this build process video. I'll catch you on the next one. Yeah, no, I think it's almost like, you know, like even even soccer this morning is kind of like sucked up and all that kind of like, e yeah, extrovert energy. And now I'm like, cool, I want to. When's my next coffee? <laughs> yeah, and I've already had my coffee for the day. Life of a building boss, hiding around the corner doing a Rubik's Cube. Well, they work. So we're up to the last layer of the cube. And there's two parts to this. There is getting a cross going. The cross needs to be lining up, but also you need the colors to line up. And then you also need to, uh, so see now I've got a cross, but then that is, that is yellow green and needs to be red. So what we do is then this move here. Boom, look at that, we've got a cross. No, shame. It's like, I peaked too early. Okay, so now we have a cross, but more importantly, the cross is right on the sides. So now we've gone from the whole cube being broken to only four pieces need to be solved, and that's one, two, three, four. And boom, boom, solved. <laughs> Try that again, solved. <laughs> solved. If only building a house was that easy. And in essence, the problem solving bit is that. And so I think there's some parallels between how I learned to solve the cube and problem solving in general and hitting the wall. So let's break that down. So in conclusion, problems, problems, problems. They are part of our life. I think what I've learned in building and in business is that things don't go to plan often. It's all about how you deal with the things you didn't plan for and kind of having an open and flexible mindset, understanding that things will go wrong. In this running video here, I talk about how deciding to run just 1K every day helped me put my shoes on, get out the door and get started. And what I found is once I got over that initial hurdle in my mind of getting started, I often ran much further than I thought I would for longer than I thought I would. So if you're still watching at this point, thanks so much. I really do appreciate you giving me your attention. If you're facing a brick wall right now, comment below and tell all of us about what it is and how you plan to get around it. As always, thanks so much for watching. Go ahead, click subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video.